So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Code and Playground. So this is going to be the part 3 for the Rock Blaster 2.0 game. So before we start, I'm going to review some code for the sprites. So this is for the shopping cart. So this is like for the mo moving side to side. When you put your uh, mouse pointer on it, it'll get bigger. This is uh, when I receive open shop, then it'll stop everything in here. So for the rocks, same as almost the same as last time we just added the if then touching laser then change the money by 100 and go back to here and then start cyber magic spell and then um player same thing just the movement and this broadcast start game and then for the laser we just did this in the last video uh when i receive start game this is just for the shooting when i uh, when the space bar is pressed and create a clone of myself Wait until not key space is pressed, so then no one can spam the space bar. And then we have this one. This is just to go to the player, and if touching, it repeat until it's touching the edge. Okay, and then this is just to set up for the laser. And then the backdrop backdrop will work on that today, I think. And then for the pause button, when the P is pressed, and if shop is equal to no, and shop is equal to no, that means the player is not in the shop. Then it'll show and broadcast pause game. And of course, not every uh, sprite is paused right now because we have not done the code, so we should work on that right now. So let's go to the aliens and enemies. Actually, you can rename the rocks to enemies so you guys won't get confused. Enemies. And then um, I'm gonna get uh, when I receive. When I receive uh, pause game, then I'm gonna stop other scripts in the sprite. And then delete this clone so they'll delete all the clones from the aliens and the rocks and stuff like that so uh let's play it so i'll show you guys so when you press p they all delete the clones and it'll stop all the scripts in the sprite okay so now we have that done let's work more on the shopping cart actually no we finished the shopping cart sorry about that so we're gonna do the open shop let's go to the shop background right here i have it right here so when flat clicked, I want to hide the shop background. So the shop background will only show up when you're inside the shop. And then when I receive start game, start game, then I want to hide. So in the beginning, we always want to hide the shop background. And then when I receive open shop, then we want to go to zero zero, which is the origin, the center. And then we want to set in shop to yes. So then to let other sprites know the player is in the shop in shop to yes and then we want to show the variable money to let them know how much money they're at um and then let's sh show and then we have to show the background of course and then we want this to go to the front layer so we wanted to go into the front layer and then go back a little bit so we're going to make it go backwards five layers okay so that's the shop background. So uh, let's work on the buttons now. So for the buttons, when I receive open shop, we wanna for this is for the skin one, the blue, the blue spaceship. So when I receive open shop, we want to go to the front layer with this sprite. Go to the front layer. And then I made it go to negative 50, 80. I already have the same coordinates because I got from the backpack. But negative 50, 80 is like somewhere around here. So just I just um, dragged it over there and then just got the coordinates. And then I want to set the size to 100% in the beginning. Because when you um, sometimes when you stop the game and your mouse is off uh, on the uh, sprite, then that means the sprite is bigger than 100%. So we're going to set the size back to 100% in the beginning. Then we want to show. And now we're going to do the script to make the sprite bigger when it's touching the mouse pointer. So get a forever loop. Uh, change the size. Change the size by 100 minus. So we're going to get the division sign. So um, we want to get a division and the subtraction symbol. So we want to put the division in here. Get a size, so 100 minus the size divided by 3. So we're going to put this in here. 
So if it's not touching the mouse pointer, then it'll go back to normal size. It'll shrink. And if touching mouse pointer, then change the size by, let's just duplicate this. So instead of 100, we're doing 150 divided by, minus the size divided by three. So you wanna put this in here. So if it's touching the mouse pointer, I'll get bigger. And if, uh, we're gonna get an if else statement. If, um, mouse down, if the player is clicking down on the button, uh, where's the mouse down, right here, then we wanna set the brightness in negative 10, just to make it a little bit dimmer. It just makes the game look better, I guess. We wanna set the brightness to negative 10. And then we want to wait until the mouse down is clicked. Wait until mouse down. So you wait until the player is clicking onto the sprite. Then we want to broadcast another message called check spaceship purchase. Purchase. Check spaceship purchase. So this is to check if the um, player is buying the spaceship. And then else we want to set the brightness to zero, make it back to normal. Brightness. And then we want to get when I receive, when I receive um, check spaceship purchase, we want to make a new variable called spaceship, uh, spaceship purchase status. So this is just to check if the player has enough money to buy the spaceship. So the spaceships and the, um, uh, triple shot are all like one-time purchase. So since it's a one-time purchase, we have to make this variable. So space ship purchase status. So when you go back in the store, the spaceship would be already purchased. So we're going to get an if else statement. If the uh, spaceship purchase status is equal to unlock, meaning the player has has enough money to buy it and it's already bought it. Then uh, when spaceship's purchase status is equal to unlock, then we want to broadcast another message. Broadcast, switch to blue spaceship because you can select different skins. So if they already have it and they click on the sprite, then that means it will switch them to the blue spaceship. So we want to make a new broadcast called switch to blue. Blue space ship. Switch to blue spaceship, and then we want to stop the script because that means because they already bought it. So stop the script. Else, we're gonna get an if else statement. Put it in the else area. If the money is greater than or equal to the um, one thousand, so I made this at a one thousand uh, money. And each character, you, each enemy you kill, you'll get a hundred. So you want to get an or, an equal, and a greater than. So if the money is uh, equal to one thousand, or the money is greater than one thousand, then we want to change the money by negative one thousand. So subtract. One thousand uh, money from your uh, um, from your account, I guess. So we want to set the spaceship purchase status to unlocked after you buy it. Locked. Unlocked, and then we want to switch costume to costume two. So then the button will switch to like the dark one, noting notifying the player that he's already bought he or she has already bought the skin. Then we want to broadcast another message. Uh, switch to blue spaceship. Broadcast that. Else we want to set the spaceship status to locked. Set the spaceship purchase status to locked. If they cannot afford it. And we want to switch costume to costume one. So then the uh, so then it will stay on the first one. Okay. And then next we want to get uh, another broadcast. When I receive, check spaceship purchase status, and if 
the um, spaceship purchase status is equal to unlocked. Spaceship purchase status. Then we want to forever switch to costume two. So then if the player comes back to the shop, you will always see the second costume, which means it's already purchased. Switch costume to costume two. And then we want to get a one flag clicked. When flag was clicked, we want to hide this button because they're not in the shop. And then in the beginning, we always want to set the spaceship purchase status to locked. Oops, it locked. And then you want to switch the costume to costume one, which is the first costume. And then when I receive start game, start game, then we want to hide and stop other scripts in the sprite in the beginning. Okay, so now we have this one down. We can just uh, drag the code into the other buttons, but we have to change up. We have to change it up a little bit. So, guys, we need one more change to our code. So, for the pause button, when I receive open shop, it'll hide. So then it'll hide in the shop. And then um, I will show you guys if it works. So I'm gonna set my money uh, to like one thousand, so then I can actually buy it. So then I'm gonna play it, click P, open the shop, and then the button's right here. When you click it, you can select the blue skin, and we need, an, we need to make an exit button. So we'll make the exit button right now, so then when I can show you guys when I exit, it can become the blue spaceship. So let's get to the exit button. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this code from here into here, because it's pretty much the same thing. Except we'll put a little weight in the front, so then it'll delay by one second. It'll show one second later. And then, um, we'll need a new X and Y position. So the X and Y position I did was 150, negative 70. And then set the size to 100%, 0%. And then show forever. We want to do the same thing. And if, instead of this, we're going to take this out. If... It's uh, in shop is equal, equal to yes. That means it's inside the shop. So we need two ands. And the player is touching the mouse pointer and it's um, mouse down. So we're gonna say yes right here. If the in shop is equal to yes and touching mouse pointer. So I'm just gonna delete this and mouse down. Then we can wait until Wait until mouse down. Wait until mouse down, and then we'll broadcast start game. So then it'll start the game again when you exit the store. Oh, oops, wrong one. And don't use the wait, just start game. And then we'll need to add a little bit more code. Get it when flag clicked. In the beginning, we want to hide. And when I receive start game, Start game, then we want to set the in shop to no, because in the beginning you're not in this shop. Set the in shop to no, and then hide. So that's pretty much it. Now let's test it out. And instead of 100 and 150, we have to change this to 50 and 75, so it won't be very big because it'll get too big. And then we want to get a point in direction of 90, so then it will uh, point to the right side. So let's play it now. I'm gonna click P, go to the shop. So then the exit button. And this is supposed to be the other way around. So you have to put the subtraction sign into the division sign, size like that. Put this in here. <clears throat> and then we do the same thing for this one. Put that inside here, like that. So now let's play it. Click P, go to the shop, and then you get the exit button. So when you click 1000, exit, and then you have to select it. Right now we have not had the selection, so we have to select it. So then we have to um, make it switch to the blue costume. 
when I receive switch the blue costume you want to switch the costume to the blue costume this one so now let's play so now you have the blue costume select it click exit and now you have the blue costume so now you can play with the uh, other skin and I'll show you guys one more thing so this one second is needed because if you take it out and you play it and you click P and then click here it will come back because it's at the same X and Y position if you want to change this then you can just put the weight one second or you can make it go to a different X and Y position so that's it for part three um, so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video